Solar thermal energy is a technology used to convert solar energy into thermal energy, or heat. The United States Energy Information Administration classifies three types of energy collectors. Low energy collectors, which look like flat plates and are generally used to heat swimming pools. Medium energy collectors, which also look like flat plates and are used for solar drying, cooking, and distillation. Finally, there are high energy collectors, which use lenses and mirrors to concentrate sunlight into electric power production. Solar thermal energy can also be classified into different structural groups. Different concentrations of sunlight and other factors contribute to the wide array of dish sizes and setups available. Some of the different systems, to name a few, include parabolic trough designs, which use a rounded, reflecting trough that reflects sunlight onto a glass tube that contains a liquid called an absorber that runs the length of the trough and is located at the center of the mirrors. Another system, called power tower designs, use thousands of tracking mirrors called heliostats to absorb and concentrate the sun's thermal energy. The heliostats focus the sunlight on a receiver on top of the tower. Then, within the receiver, molten salt is heated to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit and is then pumped into a steam generator where the steam fuels a standard turbine to generate electricity. One of the most commonly used solar thermal systems are dish designs. Dish designs use large reflective saucers that look a lot like your television satellite dish. The dish focuses all the sunlight and that strikes it up onto a receiver which concentrates the heat and changes it into a form that can be used to do work. Often, the dish design is coupled with a Stirling engine or steam engine. When the dish and engine are used together, Rotational kinetic energy is created, which can then be used to create electricity within a generator. Fresnel reflectors are another type of STE system. These reflectors use a sequence of elongated mirrors to focus light onto one or more linear receivers placed above the mirrors. Low energy collectors are the most commonly used collectors in the United States, amounting to about 16 million of the 21 million square feet used for solar thermal energy collectors. Low energy collectors are used on a everyday basis for heating, cooling, and ventilation. There are many types of low energy collectors used for heating and cooling, such as glazed and unglazed solar air and trom walls. Glazed panels are designed to recirculate building air through a solar air panel where the air is heated, then put back into the building. Glazed solar collectors only work when the air inside the collector is warmer than the building's room's temperature. A trom wall is a passive heating system that uses an air channel between a window and a sun-facing thermal mass, concrete or stone, to collect heat from the sun. Store it in the thermal mass and then circulate the hot air through the vents at the top and bottom of the wall. Medium energy collectors can be incorporated into a range of different areas. For example, solar drying, a process used to dry wood chips and other forms of biomass by raising the temperature while still allowing for air to pass through and thus take out any moisture can also be used for food products such as fruits, grains, and fish. Crop drying by solar means is not only environmentally friendly but also cost effective because it improves the quality of the crop without hurting the amount of production. In other words, crop drying provides a means of lessening the cost of production of goods and therefore increasing the supply of these goods, and thus lowering prices. A win-win situation for both buyers and sellers. Solar energy can also be used for cooking. There are many different types of solar cookers. One example, the box cooker, which originated in 1767, consists simply of an insulated container with a transparent lid. Another type of cooker is a more modern concentrating cooker which like some of the disk systems explained earlier, focuses solar energy onto a cooking container. When direct light is available, these technologies function cleanly and efficiently, successfully lessening the need for firewood as well as the consumption of natural gas. Another usage of medium energy collectors is solar distillation. Solar stills provide clean drinking water by using solar heating to heat water in the still, and then as the water evaporates, 
It condenses and forms clean drinking water at the bottom of the covering glass. High temperature collectors are the most efficient of all temperature collectors, but also require the hottest temperatures. To create these temperatures, they use a system of mirrors. The minimum temperature required for high temperature collectors is 600 Celsius. At this temperature, a rate of 40% efficiency is achieved. Another method of using high temperature collectors is by heating fluoride salts, which heat up to a temperature of 700 to 800 Celsius with a 50% efficiency. Mirrors and high temperature collectors have automated tracking systems that follow the sun for the optimal amount of heat and efficiency. There are many different mirror designs all around the same efficiency, but differ depending on their locations and the amount of space allocated. The pros that go with solar thermal energy are many. STE is a renewable energy source. Therefore, the supply of solar thermal energy will never run out, although the availability of the energy may vary day to day based on weather conditions. However, the widespread usage of solar thermal energy is relatively new and thus promises room for improvement. Thus, these variances may well be smoothed out in the future with new technology. Another pro of solar thermal energy is that aside from the production of the panels themselves, which may contain toxic materials that, when disposed of improperly, may endanger the environment, STE releases a lot less pollutants than the fossil fuels. Also, unlike devices that produce energy from coal or oil, solar thermal energy devices work on low maintenance. After their initial installation, STE devices can be left alone. The cons of solar thermal energy mostly have to do with its relative novelty compared to the existing fossil fuel using technology. For example, the cost of steam production with STE devices is greater than that of fossil fuel using devices. Also, startup costs for STE plants are greater due to the fact that solar thermal energy is more expensive per unit of energy created. Another con of STE devices is that storing sunlight or hot water is a lot more difficult than storing oil or coal. The biggest problem facing not only STE devices but also all new technologies for renewable energy sources is the fact that existing energy sources like fossil fuels work, and installing the new more environmentally friendly systems would be an expensive hassle for large industrial and commercial buildings.